Let's open this baby. It's not the baby, though. So, wait. Pretty hard. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry for this. All right. <laughs> Selamat malam! Good evening everyone! Tonight, we are going to unbox this newly updated dual mode Halo GT1 Pro. This has got, you know, the latest chip that also has gaming mode inside. And so far, they have the exact same box. All the icons here are exactly the same, except for this AAC label. Maybe if you got this AAC, then you have the older version. Here on the back, we actually don't see anything different, so it's actually pretty hard to differentiate between the older version this is the master slave version which i have right here and this is the newer version so yeah without taking too much time uh let's unbox it oh my goodness <sighs> whenever i unbox something it's just like my thing i need to really unbox it very carefully so that it doesn't have any flaw but mm, i just did it again i just broke it so whatever <laughs> newly updated halo gt1 pro it's tight you got the exact same unboxing experience. You've got a new plastic wrap in here that shows you that you need to remove that sticker. And the plastics are much, much bigger. So they used to put like really small plastics here and you don't even notice that it's there. Just put it in and see like, why doesn't it charge? Used to be a problem. So I'm gonna peel that off, okay. Put it right there and there you go. As you can see, this case is pretty good because it shows the battery indicator whenever you open and close the case, which uh, which surprisingly not many earbuds do that. Anyway, so just a quick look here. It is exactly the same. <laughs> the same micro USB, the same uh, backing, anyway. This has gone through some beating. So actually today I'm going to tell you how do you differentiate between the newer, newly updated chip of the Halos compared to the older versions. This is how to differentiate it and we're going to do that while we are going through this unboxing. So actually everything is the same. I don't really want to bother to open this to be honest. Oh my goodness. So small ear tips, large ear tips, one hand length of micro USB cable. Also the user manual. So the first point is updated models are the GT1 Pro and the GT1. GT2 is not updated to the dual mode chip. You will know that there is a gaming mode here. So there you go. You can see at the very last page triple touch on the right ear but will activate gaming mode so that is number one now i'm guessing here that you won't have the box or the user manual anymore so let's get right into the second step how do you know that you got the newer chip is to just put these earbuds into pairing mode on the newer one you can see that the name here is halo dash gt1 pro there isn't any underscore R or underscore L. You can see here that I am now connected into Halo GT1 Pro, not the Halo GT1 Pro underscore R. So this is how you know that you have the updated chip without L or R. And if you are connected to the older chip, you will have the L or R in the naming here. So you can see that in a second, this will connect. So there you go. You have the Halo GT1 Pro R connected on my old pair of Master Slave earbuds. Okay, so now that you know the name difference, let's test out the features and see if you have the dual mode. Either way, if you put like your right side in, you will still be connected. You take it out, you put your left side inside, you will still be connected and music still plays just fine. It's just how dual mode works. And see there, it pauses right after I put everything back into the case. And right now, let's try on the older Halo GT1 Pro. So right now I am connected to the Halo GT1 Pro R. I don't have the left side connected to my phone. So 
Let's see. These are not dual mode. These are still master and the left side is a slave. So if you put the slave into the case, it will be a no problem. Music will still be playing, but if you put the right side, which is the master earbud, back into the case, as you can see, in a bit, it will pause by itself because the music cannot transfer immediately from the left side to the right side and vice versa like that. There you go. So this is the third point that differentiates the newer and the older chip. Okay, now the last point is gaming mode. See if you have it or don't is you just take both of the earbuds and then you tap three times on the right side. So I'm gonna tap on my old Halo GT1 Pro. One, two, three, and there you go. It triggers voice assistant and you don't want that to translate me into text. Anyway, if you trigger voice assistant, that means you have the older version and the newer version will only trigger voice assistant if you tap three times on the left. One, two, three, and there you go. You have Siri running right here and on the right side will activate gaming mode. One, two, three, and there you go. Nothing will happen. No Siri will pop up. It's just turning on gaming mode and you will hear some, you know, some really fun sound effect. So I will test out the gaming mode in a separate video and also compare it with the QCY T5 to see if it's any better, if they are the same. So that's pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching Kenneth here and I will see you in the next video. Oh, and also don't forget to subscribe. Please leave a thumbs up. Thank you so much.